So what happens is that you write, let's say, I don't know, something about, I want to manifest a car. I have a car, blah, 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 right? The way it's going to manifest, if it's going to manifest, is that there is an entity or a group of entities behind that's going to help you to manifest that. The person may be going to manifest the car, let's say, but the entity or, or a group of entities behind it will manipulate the situation so they get what they want and it can work in all sorts of ways nothing is free nothing you're not manifesting anything without a price Okay, this is Mike Sigula from TrueFury.com and welcome to another episode of True Spirituality. So True Spirituality is my series of videos where I talk about metaphysics, esoteric ideas and teachings, mysticism and all sorts of relevant and related topics. I've been studying these things for 20 years now and I've done a lot of work with the rituals, with all sorts of practices learning from different schools, different teachings. And this series is just basically a summary of some of my knowledge, experience and, and you know, things like that. And uh, we talk about all sorts of topics. So today let's talk about the 369 magic method, manifestation method that got a lot of popularity in recent years apparently especially on TikTok yeah <laughs> among teenagers or whatever and uh, why it is dangerous what are the real principles behind this method how it really works and at the end of the video I'm gonna give you formulas that you can use to actually cancel any contracts that potentially karmic contracts that were created as a result of using this method so at the end of the video I'm gonna give you some uh, tools that anyone can use to basically clear themselves from any uh, dodgy methods like this one so basically you know there's been this method called 369 manifestation method apparently went viral on social media over the last few years people are using it and what it involves is writing things down three times in the morning six times in the noon and nine times in the evening in present tense what is that you desire what is your goal what do you want to manifest and this apparently has something to do with Nikola Tesla. You know, he, he was talking about 369, but obviously it has nothing to do with Nikola Tesla because any method that involves writing things down is based on free will principle and karmic contracts, also known as soul contracts. There are only two main methods that you know are used to manifest anything and every method is based on one of these two principles or both so what are these methods basically first manifestation technique is our consciousness because consciousness is fundamental and consciousness creates reality and when we desire things when we visualize things when we embody emotional states like a lot of the law of attraction people talk about what happens is that we start rearranging the dream the reality because we shift into a probable scenarios and we may be going to manifest something maybe not but basically this is the principle of manifestation and basis of the law of attraction that reality is created by consciousness and we kind of shift the dream we rearrange the dream and uh, that's how we attract people and situations you know that we desire this is like more or less more or less the basis of attraction and manifestation but there is a second element 
which is how almost every other method is based on. So, you know, spells in witchcraft or black magic, white magic, whatever. Spells, right? Rituals, any kind of rituals. They do rituals with menstrual blood or sex magic, orgasm, incantations, or writing things down, like in this method, right? All these methods rely on free will principle and karmic contracts or soul contracts. These are the rules of every manifestation technique, no matter what it is. You write it down 19, 18 times a day for 30 days. They're all based on the same rule. This has nothing to do with Nikola Tesla or anything like that. The reality is structured that we have a free will principle, which is, you know, one of the most fundamental laws in existence and rules designed by source consciousness. So we have, you know, we decide what we want to do and no one can affect us without our free will, more or less. This is the rule. When we desire something, right, and we, for example, write things down like in this method, you open yourself to a potential karmic contract, also known as soul contract. So what happens is that you write, let's say, I don't know, something about, I want to manifest a car. I have a car, blah, 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 right? The way it's going to manifest, if it's going to manifest, is that there is an entity or a group of entities behind that's going to help you to manifest that. It's not gonna be your magic, knowing secret methods, nothing to do with that. This is how these things work. And when there is a magic method that sounds cool because has something to do with the famous Nikola Tesla, but obviously has nothing to do with him, there is 100% chance, 100% that this is a tricky method that is designed to get people in contracts. <laughs> exactly that. This is how everything works, like spells in witchcraft. They all work on the same principle, that there is a free will principle. Someone says whatever the, the formula, whatever the spell is, or write things down using a specific method. And this is now linked to an entity or group of entities that recognize that there is an order for them. Oh, this guy wants a car. They, they know it straight away because the method has a blueprint that is connected to the entity or entities. That's why, you know, specific spells are designed in specific way. You know, the way you pronounce them or you say them and things like that. Because, you know, there is an entity behind it that designed the spell. And they know straight away when someone says that. They, they are connected to it. So how it works. Someone wants to manifest something, a car, let's say. And typically, if the desire is selfish, because these entities behind these things are always negative, no good entity ever wants to give you any spells, any methods of manifestation, and uh, they don't need contracts. <laughs> good entities don't need any contracts, uh, but negative entities, that's how they operate. That's how they trick people. That's how they use these Molly, the, you know, law of attraction guru, uh, manifestation coach, that she, she just manifested her car <laughs> using this magic method and now she wants to tell everyone about it so you can all get in contracts. And she got her car to get you all in contracts who are using that. What happens is that the person may be gonna manifest the car, let's say, but the entity or, or group of entities behind it will manipulate the situation so they get what they want. And it can work in all sorts of ways. Nothing is free, nothing. You're not manifesting anything without a price. There is a price to it. And the price not gonna be obvious. It's often very much hidden that people don't even understand where is the, the cost involved? I have a lot of experience with these things. I got myself a lot of trouble because of that and I understand pretty well. So that's why I'm trying to warn people who try these methods 
but let's say I don't know, one guy was doing a ritual using uh, menstrual blood and uh, he wanted to manifest whatever $15,000 what happened next day he had a car accident two weeks later he got 15 grand sometimes what happens is that person's gonna manifest whatever they want typically it's not gonna be how they thought it's gonna be because this is how these entities work so for example let me give you an example someone wants to manifest a relationship using such a method the entity is gonna deliver the person but the relationship there's gonna be something wrong about it like for example you know you want to manifest a beautiful partner a perfect hot girl whatever she's coming but you argue all the time or whatever there is other problem there hmm? you got what you wanted but it's not how you thought it's gonna look like and then at the end of the relationship there is a time to you know they pay the price it's not coming for free and suddenly I don't know there is an accident in the family for example nothing to do with you seems unrelated at all but the way these things work is that we have contracts also with close people around us and sometimes when we get in a contract it might actually affect someone very close to us because we have some kind of agreements with these people for a long time for many incarnations and now there is an element to repay that and the entities behind tap into this whole thing and then they they basically feed off suffering feed off negative energy whatever it is i've seen people where you know suddenly something happens with their health later on like one year later or um, they start uh, suddenly getting angry and they are constantly angry about something or they get into addiction whatever it seems that has nothing to do with this whole method and this whole thing that they manifested but it's actually very much related this is how these entities work they're very clever they have all sorts of uh, they can install an enteric implant to a chakra for example psych energy person gets addicted to something and they just keep feeding off the energy or there is a some kind of etheric device installed where basically a person is often like angry or whatever or in pain or whatever something like that seems like it has nothing to do with the method with them what they manifested but that is actually the payment the payment and the, the entities behind it feed off negative emotions and energy so that's how they get what they wanted <laughs> at some point i'm gonna do a whole video explaining karmic contracts also known as soul contracts how it linked to manifestation because a lot of these um, coaches that teach these methods they have no idea how it works they think it's just a magic method that they discovered and that and they, it worked so that means like we are great coaches you know we use magic law of attraction methods blah, blah, blah. but then what happens is that these people are puppets basically become puppets for the negative that spread methods so people getting contracts that's what happens here and people manifest things but it doesn't come for free nothing comes for free never there is always a fee there is always a price to it so be careful with these types of methods this is 100 hundred percent a method like that hundred percent because if there is specific formula like that and the principle is always the same <laughs> it's just write things down and whoever is open to a contract gonna try to manifest that for you so let's say if you would use the method to i don't know you want your mom to get healthy or something like that something that's positive maybe maybe that wouldn't necessarily um, work because the entities pr prefer to create something for you that is selfish so like material things relationship could be one of those they might send a person as a form of relationship who is already in contract with the entity because that's how they do it they always have to operate within their own field whatever they control 
and you're gonna get what you want it's not necessarily gonna look like like your photo it's gonna be okay for a while and then the time to for repay the fee comes and people obviously are not aware of it on the this level here unconscious but your soul your higher selves okay this is what you wanted you know they know about it so these things are tricks when i hear anything spreading on tiktok like wildfire magic methods that obviously have nothing to do with nikola tesla 100 100 this is a trick to get you in contract okay so i'm gonna give you now the simple tool if you want to use it if you started using this method you can cancel it basically the contract that is being formed or it was a form already with the use of this method it's very simple so up to you you know you can give it a try so i'm gonna give you two different ones one is specifically for this method anyone can use it and the second one is like a proper method just to cancel as many agreements possible and uh, this is useful because we unconsciously have these contracts very often sometimes they they drag from incarnation to incarnation and maybe you don't want that anymore you don't need that anymore so also a lot of like church rituals are are basically giving people in contracts things like that this is all tricks you know this is the real dark side the catholic church they are hijacked and they use techniques like that as well to get people on contracts so the way this works is exactly the same as this method but the opposite so you just you know this is based on free will mm -hmm. and what you say is based on free will so to cancel that this is the whole thing so when you say these things you mean it you really mean it right this is the only thing that when i'm gonna just read it to you you can copy the text and then in your own time you just read it out in your mind or loud with intention with the intention that you really desire that to happen that's the whole thing you can read it like three times if you want one time should be enough but basically the whole thing is that you your intent is what matters so i'm gonna give you two options if you don't want to like experiment with bigger things i use the second method regularly because even when you, we cancel contracts or some of them they're in layers very often in like through incarnations the new things happen in our lives and something new gonna attach or some new agreements gonna be formed and things like that so i use it often so the first one is specific for this method if you wanna you know clear that you don't wanna experiment with these types of tricky dodgy methods you just say with intention this i cancel any agreements and contracts related to 369 manifestation method i cancel copies and duplicates and any copies of copies as well i was not consciously aware that i was getting into any agreements or contracts while doing this method i cancel all that now this is just a very simple technique which works in the opposite way to method like that because the method like that opens you up to contracts that are based on free will and this is about canceling that because everything is based on free will so if there was a contract you know you say i wasn't consciously aware of it and i'm canceling that why we say copies and uh, things like that or copies of copies <laughs> the way these entities work is that they they have all sorts of traps and tricks so when you cancel something like this kind of agreement let's say that you were not aware of that you got it yourself into you know they have mechanism often that activates another agreement once you cancel the first one and then you try to do it again and it activates another one <laughs> they have all sorts of tricks like that so that's why we say copies of copies for example but but there are more sophisticated methods that something like that might not work for uh, so now i'm gonna give you 
a formula that I use, same principle, free will. I do it uh, now every day actually, because you know, sometimes people get in contracts in dreams, even if their dreams are hijacked. This is basically like a formula for a little bit of everything. It's up to you. You can give it a try. You can first read it if, if you want to use it or not. Up to you, obviously, this is all your free will. I'm just giving you ideas, but basically you are responsible. You take responsibility for these types of actions. If you use these methods to manifest, you are responsible for it. And if you use these tools, they just work the other way around. So read it first, pause the video if you want. And then if you decide to do it, you just read it with intent. You really mean that? That's it. You can do it like three times if you want one time. But basically the whole thing is that you, whatever it is that you read, you mean that, you really want that. This is the whole thing because everything is based on free will. By the power of my free will, I cancel all pacts, contracts, pledges, bonds, oaths, and oaths given to myself, software, implants, all agreements, verbal agreements, also those in writing and those signed in blood, originals of these agreements, copies, duplicates, copies of copies, reversed contracts and agreements, binding contracts agreed in trance. I cancel karma, ancestral karma, church rituals, curses, spells, rituals, remove vows, priesthood rituals, monastic rituals, everything mentioned taken consciously or unconsciously is cancelled in all dimensions, densities, timelines and incarnations now. This is all cancelled now. So this is like a very broad general formula that you can use if you want to it works for sure because everything is based on free will. So when I was uh, mentioning agreements signed in blood, it might sound like, oh, I never done anything like that. What, are, what is that, right? But maybe you have done it in one of your previous incarnations. You don't know that now, you don't remember it, but the free will <laughs> elements and contracts continue because you live forever and you go in and out, in and out of incarnations. You live thousands of lifetimes. So this is really like one lifetime. The whole process of incarnation until you get to a level of, of higher self is like literally like one life of higher self. And every time you go to sleep, there is a dream. This is your life every time. You just change bodies. So a lot of these continue, the, the contracts and agreements. So uh, that's why you don't know if maybe there was something in the past you currently don't remember your past lives at this level. You're gonna start remembering if you're gonna go higher, but this is why we just put like a full formula. It's better to not have any of these than to have them. It's better to be clean as much as possible. And that's all. <laughs> Let me know about your experiences if you ever tried the 369 method, better do not try anything like that. And let me know if you use the methods that I'm giving you here. I want to kind of hear about your experiences with these things. Um, you know, if you don't do any of this stuff, that's good. I always say the only way to manifest anything really is to work with your higher self. I made some videos on, on that as well. Because your higher self is just you. This is a bigger part of you. And it's gonna guide you to what is good for you. And everything else, I wanna have a Ferrari, blah, blah, blah. This is all contracts, you know? And, and there's gonna be consequences with these things. Unfortunately, a lot of these um, people who teach these methods, they don't really know anything about <laughs> this stuff no nothing zero absolutely zero they're just pawns in the game for the dark entities that they use them 
to get more people in contracts. Basically, this is how it works. So if the video resonates, give it a like. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. I do coaching one-on-one -on -one as well. I help people with their spiritual evolution, personal development, building brand online as well, personal brand. Go to truefury.com forward slash coaching. Have a look what's going on there. You can send me an email. I do initial quick consultation free of charge if you want to work with me. And uh, thanks for watching another episode of True Spirituality. Until next time.